This video is sponsored by Hedicon, one of the best open source platform to monitor, debug, and improve your production-ready large language model application. I was able to build this MCP server where it will prompt users to sign up, log in, and connect to cursor automatically. And when user prompt cursor to use this MCP, it will dynamically generate a payment link where it will ask for user's credit card and charge them by MCP usage. And only after user paid, MCP will start working. And the more users use your MCP and find value, the more they will be charged. And you can set up sophisticated usage based here to monetize your MCP server properly. This is what I want to take you through today, how to set up and monetize your own MCP server and distribute to thousands of people. So MCP obviously is the hottest topic for the past few months. It extends AI agents capability to integrate different type of systems or access external docs easily. And the beauty of MCP from my perspective is that anyone who has domain knowledge can actually build MCP to help agent complete specific tasks and distribute to hundreds of thousands of people. But one problem I see is that most of those MCPs today are just running locally on user's machine. And obviously the setup is quite technical. That made the distribution and monetization of MCP awkward. It mostly works for people who already use your product. Otherwise, they will need to go through its whole flow of go to your website, sign up, pay, get API key, add an MCP server, and then start using but what really caught my attention is that Stripe recently just released this agent SDK where you can easily create a paid MCP server by attaching a price ID and the tools to achieve some similar experience that I just showed you earlier. And that really changed how you distribute and monetize the MCP server. Now you can just get it started using right away. And while they are using it, you can prompt them to upgrade. So this will make building MCP business much more interesting. And this is what I want to take you through today. And I will break that down into two parts. One is how do we set up a payment system for your MCP server by usage. And second is how do you set up a nice authentication layer for your MCP server. And we're going to use three very useful package. One is the Stripe Agent Toolkit that allow you to connect payment very easily. And Cloudflare has this MCP class. You can just turn any function right into a MCP tool and also set up the OWASP layer. And in the end, we're going to use MCP Remote, which is allow you to achieve this type of UX that prompts you to create account and sign in. But before you launch your paid MCP to the world, how will you know if your pricing strategy for your large language model product actually makes sense? Or if users are secretly burning through your API budgets? This is where Hedicon is such a game changer. So Hedicon is an all-in-one platform for monitoring, debugging, and most importantly, understanding how people are actually using your large language model application. You get real-time visibility into exactly how much each user or endpoint is costing you, down to every single API call, prompt, and model used. With this detailed cost and usage analytics, you can see which features are driving your bill and where you might need to adjust your pricing tier. But it goes way beyond just cost. It helps you analyze how people are interacting with your prompt, which allows you to spot patterns and understand where you can optimize. And even get data sets so that you can fine tune your own model to reduce cost while improving performance and reliability. It has loads of super useful functionalities like caching. If users are asked the same request to your larger language model, it will just return the result cache before, so it doesn't cost you anything and reduce the latency. They also have prompt experiments feature where you can compare multiple different prompts across thousands of different real user requests, so you can iterate your prompts with confidence. So if you're building a paid MCP server or any large language model powered app, use Hedicon to monitor your cost, understand your users, and build a business that actually scales. I have put a link in the description below for you to get started. Now, without further ado, let me show you how to build a paid MCP server. So Stripe has this agent toolkit that allow you to define an MCP server and you can just add payment gated tools by defining the name, the function, as well as price ID. And with this, you can set up a quite sophisticated pricing strategy. Either set up a one-off pricing for lifetime access to your awesome MCP server, but you can also set up a recurring subscription as well as usage-based pricing, which is probably the most interesting and suitable one for MCP server where you probably use different AI model behind the scenes. And all those capabilities can be achieved with just few lines of code by using this paid MCP agent class provided by Stripe. So this paid MCP agent class is a extended version of Cloudflare's MCP agent class, which is a package that allows you to turn any functions you build into a MCP tool very easily. Let me take you through this MCP agent very quickly so you understand the fundamentals. Then we'll showcase some new capabilities from this paid MCP agent class. You can just open cursor in any folder and do this quick Cloudflare test. My MCP server template is Cloudflare AI demo remote MCP OSLAS. And inside the source folder, this index.ts is how you can set up MCP server. So you will use this class defined by 
Cloudflare called MCP Agent. Give it a name version and then start adding tools like a simple MCP tool for adding numbers together or a bit more sophisticated calculation. You can give it a name, the type of input that this tool should take and define the actual functionalities. All you need to do is just pasting the name of MCP server, the URL slash MCP. So this is how simple it is for you to create your own MCP. And what Stripe did is basically have a new class called paid MCP agent that is built based upon Cloudflare's MCP agent class. So the setup is very similar. You can still add public tools like what you did before. But what you can do now is that you can also add a paid tool. And all you need to do is just passing on this additional information, which is price ID, the payment reason, which will show up if your user haven't paid to explain why they should upgrade. And that's pretty much it. With this setup, if a user try to call this specific MCP tool, but they haven't paid yet, it will return a result of the payment link, as well as the reason why they need to pay. So the agent can actually render and show this payment link to the user. And as I mentioned before, there are multiple different ways you can set up payment strategy. This example of how do you set up a one-time payment, just go to Stripe, create a product, and the pricing will be one off, give the price, then you will get this pricing ID that you can copy and paste over. You will need to define a payment success, which is where do you want to take users to after they pay successfully. So you can create a nice looking page that's showing users instruction about what to do next. So this is a one-time payment. You can also create a subscription payment where the setup is almost identical, except the pricing will be recurring and you can set up flat rate fee here and pasting over the price ID and the mode will be subscription. But the most interesting part is this usage-based payment method. Every time when user uses MCP tool, it will record a usage and consume the credits. What you need to do is choose this usage-based pricing. The most common one is probably per tier. So let's say you want to set up an emoji generator MCP. The first five generation will be free. Per unit price will be zero and there's no flat fee. After that, you want to charge $1 and it will give them some credits to generate, let's say, 30 emojis. You want to give a new tier which charge $10 that gives them 500 credits. If they exceed that 500 quota, then you will charge 0.001 per new emoji generated. So you can create that, but you will need to attach a meter. You can search for meter on Stripe and then create a meter. Meter is basically a counter that keep track of the usage of the user. You can give a name and choosing how you want this meter to be added. You will choose that meter to track the usage. Then you can just copy this pricing ID over to the line item here, as well as meter event, which is this event name you can get from the meter page. And the mode will be still subscription. So this setup will automatically track the usage. So in this example chat earlier, I call this MCP server 10 times, and in the invoice, automatically track my usage and calculate the invoice dynamically. So this is how you can use Stripe Agent Toolkit to add pricing and payment to your MCP server so you can start monetize. If you want to get more in-depth step-by-step tutorial, I have detailed breakdown for how to build a proper MCP server, as well as a template that already have authentication and payment built in. All those tutorial and MCP template will be inside the AI Builder Club I'm building. I have put the link in the description below, so if you're interested, feel free to join. But apart from that, you also need to set up an authentication system for the MCP server so users can sign up and track their usage. So here we're going to use two things. One is Cloudflare OAuth provider. Another is an MCP remote package. So to build authentication system for your own MCP server, you actually need to do something called OAuth. OAuth is a protocol that allows users to grant access to certain client application to the server data. For example, you often will see things like logging with Google or logging with Facebook. That's kind of common use case for OWASP. But for MCP, we need to use OWASP because for MCP, you often just build a server and it is designed to be used in multiple different clients like Cursor, WingServe. And the way it works is that when someone add your MCP server to Cursor, it will send a request to the MCP server to check if a user already logging or not. If it's not authorized, it will open the browser, get an auth code, and wait for user to log in successfully. And after that, it will ping the server to generate access code and verify if user grant access. This flow might feel a bit more complicated, but the good thing is that Cloudflare actually provides this OAuth provider class that is automatically handling the pipeline for this OAuth. All you need to do, just implement an actual signup flow and put that logic inside the default handler. And you don't need to worry about any other stuff. And if you check the example repo from Stripe, that's exactly what they did. So in the index.ts, at the top, they will define those paid tools. But at the bottom, there's an OAuth provider where the default handler is app, which is stored in this app.ts. So inside app.ts, 
it has this slash authorized endpoint, and they just have this mock authentication system that is always log in true. So it will just always assume that user log in, and they can go to the approval directly by putting in the email and click approve. So to build the actual authentication layer, you just need to build your own authentication flow, which I will show you how to do very quickly. Then replace logic inside slash authorize. Instead of always log in, you need to do the check does the user actually log in. If not, it shows them a sign up page. So this is the Cloudflare part. The second piece that you really need is this package called MCP Remote. MCP Remote, as I mentioned before, is a special package that help you mimic the UX where you will prompt a user to log in when they try to connect your MCP server in cursor. Because if you don't have that and just do the normal connection, it won't be able to connect the system properly because user hasn't given any authentication. User will have to go to your application, generate a API key and pass on here. But what MCP remote will do is that you can just change the command to npx MCP remote and the URL endpoint. This will kind of mimic the experience. So when user try to add that, it will automatically open the browser and prompt the user to sign in. And only after user approve, the MCP tools will show up properly. So with these two things together, you can achieve that experience where it prompt user to log in, they can start using right away. And for the first time, it will prompt user to give credit card and upgrade. And you will capture the email address of every single user who are interested in using your MCP server. And here's one quick example of how I build the authentication system based on Stripe Ripple I showed earlier. I use Superbase as an authentication system, creating a new Superbase project. And if I go to setting data API, it will give me this URL as well as anonymous key. I just need to change the .dev.vars, which is like .env file for Cloudflare, Superbase URL and key and service row key, which is these three items here. Then go to authentications, turn on the email authentication, and then go to emails to set up the email templates that are going to send to user when they try to create an account. The approach I normally use is a one-time password which is every time when user put in the email address, we will send them a six digits for one time password. This one I found has best email deliverability. So I don't need to worry about those email goes to users like spam box. So you can just change this and add the token here and then click save. Once you've done that, we just need to create a superbase.ts which has a function to set up a Superbase client and then a function to send one-time password to the user and Superbase already have the predefined function to handle everything. So you don't need to worry about that too much as well as a function to verify if the one-time password is correct. And we also have a session TS. This is to be used after user sign once, you want to remember that they have been signed in so they don't need to keep doing this. So it has this function called store sessions as well as get sessions when user try to connect server again. And in app.ts, you will want to change the logic inside the slash authorize. And again, slash authorize is where you will define the whole logic about check if user logging already. If not, it will request one time password, verify it, the endpoint for verifying the one time password, and the page where we're going to show to users after they make the payment successfully. That's pretty much it. If you want to learn more, I have detailed breakdown of how to build a proper MCP server with code example and explanation. So you can follow along, copy, paste, and plug in, as well as a paid MCP template. They already have authentication, OAuth flow, and Stripe payments set up properly. So you can just take and launch your own paid MCP server a few hours. All those tutorials and templates is available in AI Builder Club, where we have a community of top AI builders who are building and launching their own AI products. So they might already experience a problem and challenge that you are facing today. You can come and get advice as well as in-depth course about AI coding and building large language model application from myself and industry experts. And we're continuously providing more and more useful tools to bootstrap your process of building and launching AI products from SaaS templates and 10 x Coder, which can help you generate effective PRD and cursor rules and many other perks of essential parts. If you're interested, I have put a link in the description below for you to click and join. I'm really excited to see what type of MCP you're going to build. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.